do it, John. You ready? All right, y'all. Thank you. You guys can just start admitting everybody. Can you guys hear that music? Happy Monday, everybody. This is the Quiet Storm, Balboa High School edition. We're going to kick the first few minutes off with some Balboa Buccaneer trivia time. Our first question of the morning is, who is this former Balboa alum who will eventually form a musical group with a bunch of his friends and travel the world? Answer time, Jerry Garcia, founding member of the Grateful Dead, Excelsior District native and Balboa student who attended in the late 1950s. Next question, who's that Balboa Buck? This Balboa alum was the first African-American conductor of a major US symphony orchestra. Who is he? I'll give you a minute. This alum is Calvin Simmons, the class of 1972, former assistant conductor of the Los Angeles Philharmonic and director of the Oakland Symphony Orchestra. Calvin Simmons is also the name of our auditorium, which when we come back from the pandemic, you will be able to see and experience. Next question. This Balboa alum would become one fourth of one of the best selling musical group groups of all time. Who is she? The answer is Cindy Heron, class of 79, founding member of the R&B pop group En Vogue. And if you don't know who En Vogue is, you better look that up. Classics. Next question. This Balboa alum and his sons, this is one of them, would go on to entertain the masses in what we call the squared circle. Who is this Oos? Answer coming up. Solofa Fatu, aka Rikishi, class of 84, WWE superstar, former Intercontinental Champion, World Tag Team Champion, and WWE Hall of Famer. If you don't know, now you know. Next question. Who's this Balboa Buck? This Balboa alum would write for vaunted publications like Mass Appeal, The Source, and Rolling Stone. 
would also release powerful hip hop albums and perform tour, perform and tour just about everywhere. Who is she? The answer coming up. Chris DeLeon, AKA Rocky Rivera, class of 2000, world renowned hip hop artist, activist, journalist, and writer, and mother of two. The last question of our trivia. This Valvo alum would go on to be one of the greatest battle turntablists of the 20th and 21st centuries. Who is he? Time's up. This gentleman would be Richard Quitivis, AKA DJ Kubert, class of 87, world renowned battle DJ, turntablist and composer, grew up on Moscow Street in the Excelsior. And that should wrap it up. Oops. Sorry, I'm gonna turn off the music real quick. <laughs> Dr. Jones, if you wanna go get us started, I will find this. Awesome. Welcome Buccaneers to the Balboa High School Orientation 2020-2021. My name is Dr. Mike Jones and I am your assistant principal and facilitator for our time together today. You will meet your principal and other assistant principals in a few moments. On behalf of our superintendent, Dr. Matthews, school board members, faculty and staff, I hope that you and your loved ones remain safe and healthy during these times. Please take a moment to look at the bottom of your screen where you will see our chat box. Feel free to write your questions there so that our staff might answer them as we continue with this presentation. Also, I would turn your attention to our website. Mr. Nepomuceno will actually place that in the chat box or one of our administrators for any and all information regarding successful matriculation this year. Finally, I respectfully ask for your grace, consideration, and understanding as we navigate these unorthodox times in education through distance learning and virtual interactions. We are all here to strengthen our school community and wrap our arms around our students. Our presentation today is being streamed on YouTube Live, and we are offering Cantonese and Spanish translations for this presentation. This Zoom recording will be available on our website for you to revisit or share with other Buccaneers who are not able to join us right now. Our goal is to provide a presentation today that will ease your anxieties, assist you with a successful connection to your teachers, and support staff while intentionally providing direction for overall student success. Please turn your attention now to Mr. John Nepomuceno, your assistant principal and co-facilitator for this presentation, who will give some important directions for Spanish and Chinese interpretation. Also, please choose speaker view so that you can see each person who is speaking while watching our presentation. All Mr. right. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Mr. Nepo Museno. I also go by Mr. Nepo. Um, I am one fifth of this amazing, incredible assist, uh, administrative team here at Balboa High School. I'm gonna speak briefly about Spanish and Chinese interpretation. You should have an option in the bottom um, bar of your Zoom stream that says interpretation looks just like this. You see, if you're looking at my screen, you can click on either Spanish and Chinese. And so throughout the presentation, you will be able to hear the audio track of either our Spanish translation, which is happening by our family liaison, Ingrid Pedrosa Magnoli, or the Chinese translation, which is happening now also by our other family liaison, Ms. Ella Chu. I think that would be a good time for also for me to introduce both of them. This is Ms. Ella Chu, this is Ms. Ingrid Pedrosa Magnoli. Uh, they will be interpreting throughout, but you will get to know them as the school year progresses, I guarantee you that. 
whether we're doing this online or in person. So again, if you guys want, please choose your interpretation option for Spanish or Chinese. You should be able to hear um, potentially in English, but as well as the language that you choose. Thank you, Mr. Nepomuceno. I'd like to call on Dr. Aronson, who will give us more information yeah. about our apparent liaisons at this time. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm so excited to see all of you, even if it's just your black screen with your name on it. Um, it is so exciting to welcome a whole new class to Balboa. Um, I just want to draw your attention because these are two of the most warm um, and helpful people you can possibly know on our campus. They will be contacting you and communicating with all families on a regular basis. So please um, enjoy their channels. They will help us in communicating all the important information um, and look forward to meeting them in person when we are back in person one day. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Aronson. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Freedom Siam, principal of Balboa High School. He is our chief. Please give him a warm virtual welcome as he comes. Thank you, Dr. Jones, uh, Dr. Anderson, Mr. Nepo, and Liz. Um, good morning, Balboa Buccaneers, new and returning and including Balboa legacy students and their alumni parents and family members who are joining us today. We're excited for our new freshmen and new transfer. Okay. Hold on, because they're recording. Okay. I'm not sure. We might need to mute some other folks, but um, we're excited for our new freshmen and new transfer students and returning students uh, who are here to find out what distance learning looks like for us this year. I will, I will allow for some pauses. Uh, for the interpretations. So uh, if you're wondering why I'm, I'm reading a little slow, I want to be mindful of the interpretation that we are having for our uh, Chinese and Spanish speaking families. First and, and foremost, just want to clarify that there is no bad school in SFUSD. Each high school reflects the district's strong commitment to academics as well as equity and justice. But the unique qualities of Balboa is what makes us proud Buccaneers and makes me extremely honored to be the captain of, of this ship, uh, along with my assistant principals, instructional leadership team, and the distinguished staff of Balboa. Balboa was the first school in the district to offer wall-to-wall -wall pathways or small learning communities for all 11th and 12th grade students. And we now have five pathways, many offering industry level training and or certifications and one pathway has stretched to the 10th grade through 11th and 12th. One thing I am especially proud of is our work with the district and city college and our offering of college credit classes for all 10th, 11th and 12th graders. I'm working on a sequence of A through G college classes for the students to take. We are also working with some pathways to have city college classes as a part of their curriculum. These classes are CSU or UC transferable and are weighted so can increase student GPA like AP classes. These classes will be each semester, allowing a student to complete up to six college courses and finish college a semester early or earlier if they so choose but they had to act fast and act now by, by contacting their, their counselor. It is part of my vision that each Balboa student would have taken at least two college classes by the time they graduate. And we are not there yet, but we are inching closer to this goal. Again, welcome to Balboa High School. Every year is unique and especially this year. And I trust the professionalism of our staff to meet the needs of each student and to ensure rigorous instruction for quality learning in the classroom, virtually, and in real life. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Principal Siam. I'd like to invite you again, Principal Siam, to officially introduce our assistant principals at this time. 
Absolutely. I would um, first introduce um, Assistant Principal John Nepomuceno, uh, who arrived, uh, we both arrived together here at Balboa uh, in 2015. Um, I would also now uh, like to introduce Dr. Katherine Aronson, uh, who arrived uh, in 2016, and uh, Ms. Digil, um, Assistant Principal, who arrived in 2018, is that correct? Um, and uh, our latest addition, um, Dr. Michael Jones, who arrived this school year, 2020-21. Uh, Thank you all. Thank you once again, Principal Siam, and thank you to my esteemed assistant principal colleagues for sharing this platform with us this morning. We're pausing once again for the Cantonese and Spanish interpretation. So glad that all of you are with us this morning. The assistant principals would like to invite you once again to write your questions in the chat box during the presentation so that we might provide an answer. Next, I would like to introduce our clerks. Please wave, ladies, if you're here when I call your name. First, we have Ms. Stephanie Starling, who is a senior clerk, Ms. Yesenia Deras, who's a registrar. Ms. Flora Lucchese, who is the attendance clerk. And last but not least, Ms. Mighty Lau, who is our budget clerk. Registrar Deras will now share important announcements with you. Good morning, families. Just want to say welcome to Balboa during these crazy times. Uh, so families, um, I know there's a lot of new families on here, uh, returning families. I just wanted to share some new um, information on how to get forms to me regarding your registration. Um, so now Parent View has a new platform where you can upload your registration forms, such as your immunization, parent ID, your birth certificate, if you're new to SFUSD, any um, health clearance forms, uh, or you can either um, email them to me personally. But this is a new way of, sorry, excuse me. Uh, this is a new way of, um, sorry. This is the joy and the fun of virtual orientation. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. <laughs> Apologies to everybody. I have a little one here. No worries. I no gotta keep worries. them entertained while I'm doing this. I apologize. No problem, you're saying that you're okay. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, that's a new way to get your forms to me. Um, emergency cards are now digital, which is good. So you can also find that on Parent View as well. Um, if you have more than one student with SFUSD, you can um, fill out the emergency card for all your children. Um, what else is there that's new? Oh, new incoming students, 10 through 12. If you are new to SFUSD, please send me your transcript if you have not already. Um, that's very important. The counselors need to know exactly where you guys are at uh, with your classes and your credits. You can send that to me um, at my email, as you can see there. Um, community service. We usually do community service, but it is canceled this year, guys. No community service service. We want to keep you guys safe. We want to make sure you guys are healthy. We do not want you guys out there risking yourselves. So no community service. So don't even worry about that this year. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions regarding registrations or getting any kind of information to me that I um, did not list here, please go ahead and email me there. My, you see my email, darisy at sfusd.edu. Um, I've been emailing back and forth with a lot of new families, so um, go ahead and feel free to email me any questions that you guys may have. So it's nice to meet you guys, and welcome to Balboa. Thank you, Ms. Yesenia, and thank you for sharing your spirit there in your home. <laughs> oh, of course. 
one clarification, we will uh, enable the chat box toward the end of our presentation to reserve uh, time for you to stay focused on the information that we are currently sharing. Uh, Michael Jones. Please welcome at this time, our interim student body president, Ms. Maria Anjum. Hi everyone, uh, I hope you guys can hear me well. Um, so my name is Maria Anjum. I am an incoming senior and also your ASB student body president. Um, first of all, I would like to welcome you all, freshmen, new incoming students, and families to Balboa High School, and thank you for joining us. I know meeting on Zoom for your orientation is not ideal at all, but we are trying to keep each other safe, and I am still super excited to meet all of you. Something I like most about Balboa is the fact that I know I can be a part of change, whether that change will be campaigned for by student government, a separate club, or even an independent group, especially with what is happening in today's time, like the protests. Um, I know that there are so many of you who want to create change and be a part of that. Bubble provides so many opportunities for you to do just that. Even though we are starting this year online, there are still going to be many opportunities for you all to be active within the school community. Student government is all about change and student involvement. One way we try to keep our students involved, especially coming in handy during this pandemic, is our student Instagram pages. There's a main one at Bell Bucks and one specifically made for each class. Here you will get all your information on what is happening around school and even within our communities. It also talks about the many opportunities for students present there, like information on clubs and even college prep and tutoring classes because during the school year, they are going to be coming in handy. Um, I highly suggest you guys follow to stay in the loop. Also, I have built so many valuable connections and I don't just mean friends. Like I've made some amazing friends, but also if I need to find a specific job or program in the city, I know exactly who can help me with that. And these resources are super, super use, uh, useful. So I will go and see if Mr. JG is available and ask him if I can meet with him when he is free. Also students, if you guys ever want me to hook you up with things happening in school or even some opportunities and programs outside of school, please feel comfortable DMing that Instagram for my contact and then reaching out to me. Make sure you are building your network. So as the school year is starting, I want you guys to get to know your classmates and teachers, specifically teachers, because on days when you need help, um, sometimes it can be really hard reaching out to teachers if you're not comfortable talking to them. And I say this from experience. Um, another thing I'd like for students to really dive into is the clubs within our school. We have so many and they're really amazing and fun to join. Um, here's also where you might be finding your best friends. Um, so some of the clubs we have are the Asian Student Union, we have Val Empower, which I'm a part of. We also have an Eco Club, Mock Trial, Poly Club, Dragon Boat, and so many more. You will also find this information on the new Balboa website. Finally, I just wanna say that as much as high school is about learning, it's also about building connections and having fun. So don't forget that. Sincerely, Maria. Thank you so much, Maria. And what a great example of the excellence that is um, happening every day and every year uh, at Balboa High School. And we understand that your future is bright and we thank you again for taking the time for being with us today. Thank you so much, Dr. Jones. Let's all welcome now our Dean of Students, Ms. Tiana Walker. Hello, everyone. It is so great to see you, all your faces as I scroll through this Zoom feed. Um, as Dr. Jones said, my name is Tiana Walker, and I am the Dean here at Balboa. And what that means is that I work with students in regards to discipline and also any time that they need help advocating for themselves. I work in the counseling office, and so I work very, very, very closely with, uh, with all of our school counselors. And I also work with our, uh, with our wellness coordinator and our after-school programs as well. 
Um, yo, uh, and I will also, I speak Spanish, and so I will also just say what I said in Spanish, and I will come right back. Um, yo soy Tiana Walker, yo soy la decana de, um, de, de Balboa, yo trabajo con todos los estudiantes en, um, con disciplinas y otras cosas. Um, yo trabajo con el equipo de, um, de consejeros. Yo voy a permitir que, um, que los consejeros se introduzcan. And, um, and so I will give just a few moments for our school counselors to introduce themselves. Good morning. My name is Mike Marr, and I'm one of the four academic school counselors, and I work with the last names G to L-I-A-O. I would like to think, I'm sorry, I would like to welcome parents, guardians, students to a new school year here at Balboa High School. We will be working with you guys for the next four years and help try to guide you guys towards your goals towards graduation. The best way to contact us is via email, which is provided on the slide. Um, now I'm going to let the rest of the team introduce themselves. Hi, um, I'm Ms. Kwan. I work with students whose last names are in the beginning of the alphabet, so anyone with last names A through F. Hi, I'm Ms. Berlin. Um, I work with last names LIB through Rodriguez. Um, y también hablo español. Good morning, class of 2024 and new families. Welcome to Baboa. You're part of the uh, Baboa family. Now we'd like to welcome you. So um, we are looking forward to meet you one day soon in person. And I am Eva Lee. I have the students last name R-O-E to letter Z. Welcome again. Um, in addition to the counselors, we are very, very fortunate to have four counseling interns uh, who will be working with us this year. Um, I would like to introduce the first one, uh, Mr. Justin Butak. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm, oh. Go for it. Oh, I'm Justin, and uh, I go to USF. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Ruth Juan. I am another counseling intern this year, and I am a student at SF State. And we have two other interns who couldn't join us today. Um, they are Miss Elizabeth Van Gelder, I mean, Melissa Van Gelder, and Deshaun DJ Jones. And our school. Lastly, I encourage both. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, just lastly, on the last slide, I encourage both students and parents to join our Google Classroom and counseling website, which will contain various resources and information through the school year. Sorry about that, Dr. Um, Dean Walker. No, you're good. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to, um, to talk about our next slide. And um, and we can go to the next slide. And here you are going to see as um, as Mr. Mar says, we do have a classroom for each grade. And on this classroom, you are going to not only have resources that you're going to need throughout your entire four years, um, but you are going to have um, have links for for things like after school programs for um, for our my program that will be talked about later on. Um, and also link and also these links that we do have on this slide for how you can connect with your uh, with your school counselor, how to connect with your school counselor and um, and other things. And in this slide, well, we are in the 21st century, so we are on social media. We do have a YouTube channel as well as an Instagram channel. And also we do have a website. And so definitely please feel free to, um, to go to our site to see what we are about, to see how to contact us. You can just click on, um, on the links on our website as well as in this document. Um, in order to make an appointment with us uh, individually. And so, um, and, and also this, uh, this slide deck is going to be on our website when it is posted. So, um, so because we are virtual, we, are, we do have all of our information for how you can contact us there. 
and we will be on Google Meet so that we can um, so that we can converse with you. And feel free to keep your camera off if you don't want to want us to be seen. But at the end of the day, we want to connect with uh, with you individually so that we can help you out with whatever you need. And that is it for the school counselors. Thank you, Dean Walker and Bow counselors, and welcome to all our new counselor interns. We're doing great on time. It's about 1034, according to my um, computer screen. So I want to give us an opportunity to pause and share our Balboa spirit. I see a lot of new faces uh, and I see familiar faces uh, from this past school year. So just take a moment and change your view to gallery view so that you can see everyone who's present who has their camera uh, video on. So just take a moment and, and Wave to all the people. <laughs> Dr. Jones, is it okay if I say a few things real quick about the uh, Chinese interpretation? Absolutely. Sorry, everybody. Uh, let me just stop share real quick and uh, get everybody's faces. We'll, we'll be able to get to know uh, Alvin in a second. But um, I wanted to just make sure that Ella is able to be heard. Ella, could we test you real quick? Are you speaking? Yeah. Okay, okay if everybody sp puts themselves on the Chinese channel. I hear Ella yeah, on the I Chinese channel, so. Did you hear me? On yes, I can hear you on Chinese channel, yes. Okay. okay. And so, then, um, uh -huh. hold on one second. Ingrid, can you speak? Sí, me escuchan, me escuchan. escuchan, Soy Ingrid. escuchan. Sí. Me escuchan? Yes, you can hear me? Sí. Okay. <laughs> Gracias. Okay. Viendo que está funcionando bien la traducción. English, or can... All right. I, I don't know what's going on, guys. It looks like we're, we're having some issues with the channel, but um, right now it seems Ella's Chinese channel is working and Ingrid is working Spanish. But if there's any questions for all the families and students, if you can help guide your families towards asking us, we're gonna allow uh, the comment boxes to open up again um, soon. Uh, just be mindful, everybody who's put on the comment box, that comment box is exploding and everything is recorded, including the conversation. So just a heads up, just be considerate of your online footprint. All right, that's all the comments I need to make, but. Uh, guys, feel free to also message me if you need me to also work on things. Thanks, Dr. Jones. Thank you so much, Mr. Nepomuceno. And thank you all for sharing your school spirit and rocking your Balboa spirit where? <laughs> Go Buccaneers. So at this time, we will invite Mr. Nepomuceno to share the slide deck once again so that we might continue with our presentation. Coming up. All right, let's go see uh, Alvin's beautiful face. Yes, sir. Here we are. My face was on there for an awkward long time. Hey, what's up, y'all beautiful people? My name is Alvin Akira Alanea Rosales. Good morning. I'm new to the Balboa community. Um, I am the fresh specialist. And so what that means is I work on school culture. Fresh, friendly reminder is an acronym. It stands for fair, respect, um, excellence, safety, and of course, hope. Definitely something that we need in this time. A um, little bit about myself. I love hip hop, food, nature, and knowledge. And I'm absolutely looking forward to talking to people on the phone and eventually meeting people in person. So right on, happy Monday. School in person though. Thank you, Mr. Rosales. Let's watch a short video now from our wellness coordinator, Mr. Jason G. It's a little slow, but it's coming, it's coming. While the video is uploading, also uh, the wellness clinic includes our nurse. Uh, once we have that person's name, we will share that with you as well uh, on our website. Uh, once again, the video presentation or the slide deck presentation will be available on our school's website. 
I believe we're having some technical difficulties with uh, the connectivity. Yeah, give me a second. Sorry, guys. It was loaded earlier. Hold on. John, would you like for us to come back to it um, while it's loading? Well, let's see. I think we might have it. Give me a second. It was uh, it was all loaded up earlier. Let me try it one more time. Sorry about that. No worries. Grace, compassion. <laughs> there we go. Just some more volume, please. My name is Mr. Jason G, and I am Balboa High School's wellness coordinator. You may hear some adults or staff in the building refer to me as Mr. G, or you may hear some youth refer to me as Jay. I answer to both, so whatever makes you comfortable is okay with me. Okay, it seems that we're having some difficulties with the video. Uh, now, now I'm here. Do you want me to just jump in? Oh, very good, Mr. Jason G. So glad to hear your voice. Go ahead and jump yeah. in, sir. Sorry, folks. Uh, I'm actually, um, uh, my, my laptop is being repaired, so um, I'm using my, my fiance's computer and the, the, the video is not working, so I apologize for that. Uh, my name is Mr. Jason G. A lot of youth just call me Jay. I'm the wellness corner at Balboa High School. Um, and I really briefly just want to talk to you guys about our wellness clinic and what I do. Basically, in short, for you young people, my job is to work for you and your family and make sure that you guys are doing your best and at your best. Um, but we recognize that sometimes things happen in life um, that prevent you, you know, from being at your best. Um, so that's where we come in um, and we provide services. You know, sometimes you just might need someone to talk to. Something might've happened at home. Something might've happened over the summer. You just might be going through things where you, you want an ear, you want someone to listen to. Well, that's what we provide. Um, so we do have, and I'm still kind of working out the details because as, as you could probably understand, um, our services are best served in person, um, but right now uh, we are working to just kind of see what that will look like um, for the coming fall. Uh, and we will be meeting on um, this week to discuss uh, our coordinated care team and how that will look like for this um, semester. But basically we offer, we offer services for mental health um, and case management um, and what that will look like for young people is basically if you have goals, maybe academic goals or just personal goals, we'll assign to a staff member um, that can help you strategize around those goals and then help you reach them. Uh, we also offer medical services. And the cool thing about Balboa High School is that it's different from any other high school in San Francisco Unified is that we have a full time, a full service and fully staffed uh, Department of Public Health Clinic inside our wellness center. We're the only high school that has that. And what that essentially means is that on site, we can provide more comprehensive medical care for you um, as young people, things that you might need as teenagers. Um, so things that other students would actually have to go off-site or make appointments at our clinic for, you can actually do at Balboa. Um, so that could include reproductive health, STD, STI testing, pregnancy testing, sports physicals, immunizations, and, and uh, additional other things as well. Um, and lastly, the, uh, I wanted to talk about is we also offer youth employment services and what we call resource linkage. Um, and that could be like housing, legal, immigration, or let's just say like, Jay, I, I wanna find a, a tennis program. Um, and if it exists, we'll connect you to it. Um, so that's pretty much it. And last thing I wanted to mention is that our staff is multilingual capable. I myself speak Spanish and Cantonese um, and our community health outreach worker, um, Angie Moreno um, is a, a fluent Spanish speaker. And we also have um, one of our mental health clinicians, John Fernandez is fluent in Tagalog. But we have access to all languages um, through language lines. So, um, you know, feel free, you know, I'll, I'll cut it short here. But if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, and uh, I'll maybe put my email in the chat box later. And uh, look forward to seeing and work with you students soon. Thank you. Thank you so much, JG. Uh, Dr. Jones, if I can uh, really quick button. in. Um, so apologies for the video. If I go on mute, then you can't hear the audio. So I won't go on mute next time when the next video shows up. And just one more caveat with JG's role as a wellness coordinator. He will be working directly with him, me, Alvin, Dean Walker, and myself for this uh, new coordinated care team that the district is uh, making sure every school has. So we'll have more details for all families as that becomes developed. All right, Dr. Jones. Thank you all again. And thank you, Mr. G.
Ms. Jennifer Vo, Site Coordinator of After School Program, is here today to speak with you also. Welcome now, Ms. Vo. Hi, can everyone hear me? Yes, we can. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Jones. Um, hi, everyone. As Dr. Jones said, my name is Jennifer Vo, and I'm the Site Coordinator for Balboa After School Program. Um, the Balboa After School Program is a program offered through the Community Youth Center of San Francisco, also known as CYC. Um, and we will be doing a virtual program since the school year is virtual. Um, we wanted to provide a space for our youth to hang out and have fun just like they would in person. So our Bal After Zoom program will be offered Monday through Fridays from 2 to 4 p.m. daily for free. We offer a variety of enrichment classes and tutoring services in a virtual space that will help nurture your students' creativity and interest. The only thing you need to do to join is to fill out an online registration form. It is offered in English, Chinese, and Spanish. Um, once your youth is registered, they, re they will receive an enrollment link to select their enrichment and tutoring classes and activities. We want, we want you to know that our Balboa ASP team is committed to supporting all Balboa students during this uncertain and challenging time. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any other questions or concerns. We can be reached at 628-233-6393 or at balboaasp at cycsf.org. We look forward to having your children join our program this year, and we're really excited. So um, if you would like more information, please email and or call. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jenny. And uh, we thank you for your energy and your smile that we can hear through uh, your audio. So thank you again. Next, it thank is you. my pleasure. You're welcome. Next, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Ms. Fatima Albawaya from Balboa's College Room. Good morning, everyone. I did not expect to see my picture on the screen. <laughs> um, hope you guys are all doing good this morning. Welcome families, welcome new students, and welcome staff. Um, I know this is a new type of orientation and you know, we're gonna get through this together, hopefully. Um, so like Dr. Jones said, I do work in the college room. I work for a program called JCYC Upward Bound. So sorry, am I like, Sorry, um, give me a moment. My, um, I work at the, I work for a program called JCYC Upward Bound and my program serves freshmen through seniors. So I recruit um, freshmen and sophomores and they're with me throughout the duration of high school. So my goal is to help you not only through high school, but also get to college. So what we do that through uh, mentoring, through academic services, um, we do go on SoCal trips, we'll go on um, summer, we have a virtual, we have a summer program um, usually it's in person, but this summer was virtual. Um, so my goal is by the time you're a senior, is you, you would have learned a lot of the steps that you need to be a college student. Um, aside from Upward Bound, we have three other CBOs. We have something called SF STEM Academy. We have Educational Talent Search, and we have 10,000 Degrees. Um, so all four programs are completely free. If you don't want to join my program, there's three other programs to join. Um, ETS is a all-purpose program, meaning if you don't join Upward Bound or SF STEM Academy, you are kind of you can automatically go to ETS and they'll help you with any questions you have. It's like a one-stop shop type of um, program. Um, 10,000 degrees is for seniors, so if you are going to CCSF or planning to go to City College, you would join um, them senior year, and they help you to and through. So once you go to City College, they help you grad um, be able to transfer to a four-year university. And then SF Academy, they are a, um, a small cohort-based program, so they focus on science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, they have after-school programs. Um, I know they're going virtual. I don't know the specifics, but if you have any questions about any of our programs, please, please, please reach out to me. Here's my email. Um, all programs are completely free, and I want you guys to all remember, although you guys are all you know, freshmen, um, it's good to join programs now because colleges look for that. Anyway, here's my email. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Fatima. We appreciate you being here. Next, it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Christopher Gonzalez from 10,000 Degrees. We apologize. We left one zero off on the slide. We will correct that. Mr. Gonzalez, welcome. And we will advance to the next slide. Mr.
Mr. Gonzalez, um, are you there? If so, feel free to unmute. If he's not here, I, I can speak on his behalf. Okay, very good, thank you. Yeah, so I was mentioning a little earlier that we have another pro program called 10,000 Degrees. What's really, really cool about 10,000 Degrees is that they help you get to City College and transfer. Sometimes, you know, when you went to go to City College, it's kind of hard to transfer out, but there is an advisor once you get there, right? So um, they help you, they go, you go to workshops um, during senior year, you go on a lot of college camp, uh, CCSF field trips with Ms. Guan, and then um, the new 10,000 degree staff. And then once you guys graduate, there is a, you guys have your own personal advisor at CCSF, and then they are able to help you be able to transfer to a four year university when you're ready for that. Excellent, thanks again, Ms. Fatima. We appreciate you filling in. And you will see a picture of Mr. Gonzalez and uh, other staff members there on the slide. And again, this will be available for you after um, today's presentation is over on our website. If you will, Mr. Nepomuceno, continue with the slides. And this is a good time to pause for interpretation purposes while Mr. Nepomuceno is advancing us to the next presenter. Excellent. Please join me now in welcoming Mr. Tyree Johnson, who will introduce himself and the programs in which he's representing. Welcome, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson, you're welcome to unmute yourself and present at this time. All right. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Welcome, everyone, parents, ninth grade, incoming freshmen, to the staff, and also to all of my community uh, supporters and organizers in this uh, orientation. Uh, the next slide that you'll see is just showing you what my staff is. You'll see my picture in the upper row in the center. Uh, in the lower right-hand corner is Joe Yi. He is an academic mentor. And the rest of my staff were actually youth who are in high school. In the upper left-hand corner is Sandy Liu with, in, with the Golden Gate Bridge background. And she's a senior at SOTA. On the other side is Ivy Lee. She's actually a rising junior at Balboa with the glasses and Anthony Zing, who's a rising junior at Lincoln. But what is MyEAT? MyEAT stands for the Mayor's Youth Employment and Education Program. So during this school year, we're gonna help ninth and 10th graders learn about professionalism, job readiness, and getting ready for college. Uh, this year, as everybody else knows, now we have to do our program via Zoom. But we'll cover things such as resume writing, cover, <coughs> cover letters, networking, particularly using LinkedIn, budgeting, and the like. One of the things that we really are proud of offering is a chance for you to actually know what it's like to earn money. During the fall, we offer a 30% savings match so they can make almost $1,000. It may be more than that. We're still working out some other details. But during the winter, they can get a stipend up to $1,500 being assigned to a work site. And we're working on getting more and more of our work sites to have virtual assignments. One of the key things, though, is that we encourage all of our youth to set up their own banking account so they can get a direct deposit with the San Francisco Federal Credit Union. That is one of our financial partners. And most importantly, for both youth as well as our, our parents to know, MyEAT looks really good on your college application. So how can you apply? Well, this year, previously you would come by and, and visit me at my office in room 28, but this year all of our applications are online only, and you'll see this on the slide. Go to myeat.org. Uh, they'll be out tomorrow. They may be even coming out today, but I guarantee you they'll be out tomorrow online. We'll start uh, beginning our workshops on October 5th, 
but all applications need to be in by September 4th, and you need to have access so we can see a signed Social Security card, proof of age, that can either be a birth certificate or passport, and proof of school. So the last slide that you should see is the best way to reach me is by email, kyrie at myeat.org. Feel free to call me, but I ask you, please identify yourself first. I get a ton of calls from all over the place, and I, I really need to know if when I'm talking to a parent, to a, uh, a worksite supervisor, or to a, a, a youth who's applying. I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Let's all pause now as we watch a brief virtual introduction from the Balboa PTSA and alumni, Ms. Flora Lucchesi, who is also representing Ms. Vicki Hackett. All right, unmuting, and here we go. Oops. Hi, my name is Laura Lucchese, the Balboa PTSA president. Welcome everyone. First, introducing the following board members. Vice President, Joey Ella Tion. Welcome to Balboa High School, class of 2024, and our newly transferred students. I'm your Vice President, Joey Ella Elacion. For the Balboa PTSA, if you have any questions or need help, Please don't hesitate to ask for assistance. I'm here for you. Thank you. Our secretary, Suzanne Elastion. Hello, everyone. I'm Suzanne Elastion, your PTSA secretary. Welcome, and I hope you all have a wonderful school year. Our treasurer, Neil Matsui. Hey everybody, welcome to the new school year. I'm the treasurer and I'm the one that keeps track of all of the PTSA funds. And membership, Angela Tian. Hi, new Papawa family. We are looking forward to meeting with you during this school year. The PTSA needs you, especially with all of the difficulties with the pandemic. It is easy to join the PTSA. You can go to the Papua High School website, go to the Family tab, select PTSA, and select Join. Or you can send an email to Papua PTSA 1000 at gmail.com. Um, although we cannot have in-person meeting right now, we are still conducting PTSA Zoom meetings so that we can continue to support our wonderful Papua teachers. We are looking forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Know that, Balboa, know that Balboa keeps improving because of dedicated teachers, our incredible staff, hardworking students, and supportive family. Together, we can continue providing a great education for our Buccaneers. The Balboa PTSA is collecting cash donations to support extra activities not provided by the San Francisco Unified School District. We are an all-volunteer nonprofit non organization founded in 2004, and all donations are 100% tax deductible. Our only source at this moment is the cash appeals. So go ahead and send in any amount is appreciated for the donation to help out and support students and the PTSA. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Ms. Flora Lucchese and the Balboa PTSA, and also for representing the Alumni Association. At this time, I'd like to welcome back to the virtual platform my esteemed colleagues, Dr. Aronson and Mr. Nepomuceno, as well as Ms. Jill, to review our daily schedule and information on our device deployment. Hello again, everybody. 
Um, so you've just heard a lot of introductions, and I, I know it's a lot of information, um, but you know, we understand that you're not going to memorize everything, and we will be in constant communication with you regarding all of these points. I'm going to try to slow down my you know, talking so that we can translate, but this is our structure for distant learning. Um, we, Balboa, at Balboa, we have a six-period day. Um, and this schedule is actually very similar to our in-person schedule. And that is so that we can provide a smooth transition when we're back in person. Um, if you notice, uh, the way we structured this week was on Monday, you have all of your classes. You have first through sixth period. You and your teachers will meet so that you can be prepared for the week to come. The rest of the days, you will only have three classes and they rotate. So Tuesday and Thursday, you will have first, second, and third. And then on Wednesday and Friday, you have the other three classes, your fourth period, your fifth period, and your sixth period. So your Monday classes are fairly short. They're 35 minutes. And then the rest of the week, your classes are around 70 minutes. Now your teachers will structure those periods differently. They will not be on video the whole time. You will get more information about this later. So the entire week, you meet with each class three times. Can I just remind everybody to mute? Thank you. Um, and so I want, I know that we're not all freshmen here, but I did want to say that as a freshman, you kind of have a set group of courses. You will take English one, you will take algebra one, you will take physics, physical education one, and finally, an AVID health class. And then your sixth period is, your, or your sixth class, I should say, is an elective that you choose. Um, if you also notice, there's this block that's called homeroom wellness check. And that really is a time for you to be able to talk to your teachers and, and talk to a, um, an adult about anything that you need um, or any support you want, or simply just to chat. This is really a time for us to connect because we're not in person. So this would be something where, similar to you dropping into a teacher's classroom to catch up or un ask a quick question about work. Um, this is a very, this is a community time. And again, there will be more information to come. And I think that covers it, unless uh, Ms. DeGeel would like to say anything else. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. We're really excited. Um, even though we're virtual, we're going to make the best of it. I just want to add to what Dr. Aronson said is that you're probably all wondering uh, what your classes are first, second, third, fourth, and fifth and sixth period. Um, those will be posted on Synergy very soon for you to see your schedule. And we're also working to create a personalized schedule for each student. We're hoping that it will will work in time and it will have all the links to your Google Classrooms and your Zoom meetings so that you all know where to go um, for the first day of school. Um, so keep an eye out on your student view synergy for your schedule. It will be posted soon. Um, and this is a really, really important thing that you will need to know your login for your student view synergy or parent view. So if, uh, if you're here, you probably do know that because you got the communication to say to come today. Uh, but if you uh, or anyone you know who's not here today might need that information, feel free to reach out to your counselor uh, and they can give you your logon information so that you can look up your schedule um, on Synergy. And now I will pass it over to Mr. Nabumaseno, who's going to talk about any uh, device needs that you may have to do virtual learning this fall. Thank you, Liz and Kat. So just a few things, the technology device deployment is slated potentially for August 25th. August 25th is the next Tuesday, second week of school, next next Tuesday, uh, between 10 to 2 p.m. Um, we will have more, more information coming soon, but Basically, if you haven't already, please check your emails. There was a mass email sent out um, asking you guys to fill out the 2020 district technology request form. The link is also on this um, presentation. And really what the district needs is a better idea of who really needs Chromebooks or hotspots. 
Um, the vast majority of students did receive a Chromebook or hotspot last semester, and many of you guys have probably still held on to it throughout the summer. Um, there is only a limited number of Chromebooks and hotspots being sent to the school. So we don't have enough for the whole school, but if we need to request more, then we need to have a more accurate number. Um, right now, as it stands, um, the deployment, we will have it take place in the front courtyard of the school. If you see on this little schematic diagram I created, this is actually uh, the yellow area is the front uh, courtyard where the uh, class of, you know, 1990, 2000, all those class of uh, number plates are on the floor. The center main gate is where you would enter. Um, we would have, in, we will enforce social distancing lines that would wrap from the main gate down to Cayuga, around Onondaga, and even to the back of the school, up to Otsego and Neda if need be. Uh, there may be already pre-existing markers because Denman currently still does the food distribution and so the line actually wraps down the other way. Um, but if you go take a look at this map, the entrance is to the main gate. There should be a few tables set up to in, um, guarantee social distancing. Uh, device tables basically will, have, will ensure that Chromebooks and hotspots are being scanned. Um, and then you would be, students, would be able to move to the gym area of the courtyard. There's actually a little row of two big palms on your way, and you can see that orange area. A few things, if you were a junior, um, for the, all the juniors in this meeting, uh, good morning. Uh, junior hoodies will be tabled out near the gym entrance, and then there's two tables at the very far end near the exit, which is the gym gate exit to Cayuga. Uh, Bell After School program will also be giving out care packages to their ASP students, as well as um, recruiting other students. So freshmen, for those of you guys who also need your Chromebooks, this is how your schematic is going to look like when it comes down to technology device deployment. And again, more information will be coming down the pipeline. I will be sending an email uh, to you guys and your families uh, with more details as that becomes more finalized. Be mindful that the district is trying to deploy uh, devices to every school in the district that sites are now going to be distributing things. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. That's it. Thank you, Dr. Aronson. Mr. Jill and Mr. Nepomuceno. At this time, we will highlight a few questions and answers from our chat box. As mentioned earlier, you will now have the opportunity to write your questions in the chat box, and we will respectfully ask our colleague, Mr. Jill, if she would raise that question and uh, actually raise the answer um, from one of the people or one of the faculty or staff members who uh, are actually here on our platform. So at this time, our chat box is live and open. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead, put your questions in. I know there are many burning questions that you might have. One thing that we've found uh, in our experience is usually there's a question that you're asking that someone else needs to know the answer to that question as well. So please feel free to go ahead and place your questions in the chat and I will yield the floor, the virtual floor, to Ms. Gilles at this time. All right, good morning. So just a quick reminder uh, for any of you who are on here who may not know, if you move your cursor down to the bottom of the screen, you will see some options pop up uh, and one of those options says chat. Uh, so if you would like to ask a question, you can click that chat button and it will show up on the right hand side of your screen and you can type your question into the box and I will read those out loud and we will answer as many of those as we can. Um, so I have a couple of questions here and the first question that I see is how do I see what my classes are? And so you will be able, you cannot see your classes right now, but very soon um, on Synergy, you can log on to your student view account or your parent view account if you're a parent. And uh, in the left hand side, when you log on to that account, there will be a schedule button. And when you click that, you will be able to see your schedule. Um, and then we are also working with our wonderful Dean to uh, create personalized schedules for each student that would be 
emailed to you and that will have all of your classes and then the zoom links and the uh, google classroom links uh, will be on there as well so that you can join uh, if we cannot get that figured out in time uh, then we will you you should be looking for emails from each of your teachers that will tell you how to join um, for the first day of classes. So you're really gonna have to be uh, vigilant at looking over your email um, and checking those uh, regularly so that you can see where you're supposed to be um, the first day of school. And please don't hesitate to reach out and ask questions. Uh, we wanna make sure everybody gets to where they're supposed to go. So if you have any questions at all, reach out to any of us on the administrative team or your counselor, and we will be able to help you or our wonderful parent liaisons will be able to help you. Um, the next, I hope that answers the question. Uh, uh, when will school start? School starts on Monday, August 17th, and we are looking forward to seeing everyone there. So Monday, August 17th is the first day of school. Uh, someone asked also for the Google Classroom codes again. Uh, I will say that this presentation that's being shown right now on the screen will be uploaded to our website. So you can go back and look at it at your own pace and see any of this information, any of the contact information will be uh, on there for you to also click the links and go right to those uh, emails and things as well. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go to the next question. Can we order Balboa swag to be delivered to our home? That's a wonderful question. We uh, have a lot of spirit at Balboa, a lot of school spirit, and we wanna continue that even in the virtual realm. Um, that would be a really great idea and question for our PTSA, uh, who does a lot of our selling of swag. Um, I don't know if uh, Ms. Lucchese wants to share any plans about Balboa swag being able to be ordered and delivered. Do we, do we have any plans for that? Um, currently, um, the, st um, the board members and myself were working on that. So one of the things um, that you could do is if you're interested, you can email us at um, our email, which is balboa ptsa1000 at gmail.com. And that our email also appears in the family um, tab of the Balboa website um, under PTCA, PTCA. So um, that's one of the things we were we are um, working on, um, so that we can maybe have um, swag delivered to parents. That's awesome. Thank you, Flora. You're welcome. Uh, the next question is: Will classes be one hundred percent percent on Zoom? So the answer to that question is that every class will have a part of the class every day that is live where you will be meeting on Zoom and participating together as a class. But um, there will also be work that is posted for you to complete independently or in groups uh, during that class period as well. So it will depend on the teacher how they break up the class period and it might vary a little bit from day to day depending on what the lesson is um, but it should not be that your teacher is just lecturing for uh, the full 70 minutes there should be opportunities for you to work and um, check for understanding independently and for also to do some work in some small groups as well um, may I just interject for a second, Mr. Gill? Thank you so much. Just a professional reminder to students and those who are entering the chat. This chat is specifically for questions only regarding uh, Balboa High School. Uh, if you are chatting with someone uh, directly, you need to chat with them privately. Remember that this is only for questions regarding the school year. I'm seeing a lot of questions that are not related to the school year. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Dr. Jones. Um, another question about where to view your schedule. They are not there yet, but they will be on Student View very soon. Uh, if you log in to Student View, you will be able to see uh, on the left-hand side 
a schedule option and you will click that and you will be able to see your schedule, but it is not there quite yet because counselors are still working on finalizing schedules uh, for next year. The next question I see is, do we need to join different Zoom sessions for each class? And the answer to that question is yes, each teacher has their own Zoom meeting room uh, that you will need to join for class. And like I said uh, earlier, we are working to give you a personalized schedule so that you will be able to see the links for your Zoom sessions for each class. So it would say, for example, period one, the teacher's name, and then next to that would be the link. And you would copy and paste the link uh, for the Zoom session into uh, the box for the meeting ID. And that's how you would join your class. Um, if that doesn't work, you should look for a, an email to your student um, SFUSD student account before the first day of school with the links and the information to that class. The next question is from Julia. Because we are doing online school, how do we join clubs? That's a great question. Uh, does anybody want to answer that? Do we have any ideas or are we still pondering? how this is going to work great question mr joe i think we should probably probably table that um and so we get to meet with club advisors to see how they want to promote it great so stay tuned typically when we're in person we have a big club activity day in the beginning of the year it's a big fair where you go around and you meet everybody and you can see what clubs you might be interested in um, we're going to have to figure out how we can do that virtually. So stay tuned. Um, from Miss Flora, she is also a parent of our, of a student at our school, and she is wondering, as a 12th grade, as a parent of a 12th grader, I understand community service is not needed at the moment. If, when we come back to school, will community service continue? Does anybody want to take that question? Um, I talked that over and I feel that the kids should not do community service until COVID is under control because I really don't want to risk the health and the safety of the kids. So that's on me, admin. You can, I don't know if you guys want to give me the final okay and back. Yeah. Yes, yes, as we, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Kat. <laughs> um, yes, uh, Yaseni, I think we discussed this just the other day. I think you're absolutely right, and I agree with you. Um, just for the safety and well being of everybody, we're going to hold off on community service until we were back in person. And I see some questions about that. And uh, we do not know. We are following guidance from the state and from our district um, in terms of when we might return in person. But right now, we cannot answer that question, and we will be starting online on August 6th, 17th. So we'll start online August 17th and we will not be in person until further notice. Great, thanks. So don't worry about community service right now. Please stay safe and stay at home and social distance. Um, another question, can you repeat what ninth grade classes are required? Sure. Every freshman takes English 1, Physics, Algebra 1, what have I said already? Oh, Health, AVID, and a PE or JROTC class. So you get to choose between PE or JROTC. And then for the sixth class, you get to choose an elective. So that would be a art class or a music class or a language to start. And those classes are um, filled based on, um, they do have limits. So it is uh, sort of, you may get into your first choice, you may not get into your first choice, um, but they're all great classes. And if you really are unhappy, you can talk to your counselor about, um, about that elective class. But uh, they are based on enrollment, so there's a limited number of spots for each class. 
Um, will there be tutors available? Yes, so many teachers offer to help students outside of class. They will give you the uh, ways to contact them and the times that they're available to um, provide extra help for classes. So teachers are a great first source for that, as well as our after school program and our college room. A lot of those programs include tutoring as well. So I would really highly recommend that you reach out to those folks. Again, the, the uh, presentation will be posted on our website. So please reach out to our college room and after school program folks so that you can get connected with a tutor uh, sooner rather than later. It's always better to be proactive uh, with those things to get on top of everything rather than to be reactive. So please contact those, uh, those folks. Next question. I would question. like to what? also interject, okay, uh, Ms. Jill, um, just for purposes of answering as many questions as we can. Uh, if you have answers to the questions, those faculty and staff uh, administration, could we go ahead and respond in the chat? as well as Mr. Jill uh, answering questions live. Thank you. And one, one more thing, Dr. Jones. Um, I, I have provided a warning to a couple of participants to maintain a positive and professional digital footprint. Uh, and if, if that can't be maintained, I will remove you from the room. Thank you, Principal Free. Great. Uh, the next question is, what happens if my class schedule changes? Who will contact me? That would be your counselor should be contacting you if your schedule changes. You will also be able to see those changes on Synergy. So please log into Synergy every day, check your messages, check your classes, check your assignments on Synergy daily, and also look out for emails from your counselor. They will let you know um, if anything happens to your schedule. Another question, will we have PE still? Yep, you will. Uh, it may look a little bit different than you're used to. Obviously, we're probably not going to be able to play volleyball, um, but we will have PE meeting on Zoom according to your schedule and our bell schedule. Um, another question. What is the leadership class? How will student government work? Kat, did you wanna answer this question? Sure. Um, hi again, everybody. I, so the leadership class is actually a class open to everybody. It's an elective class and we would encourage anybody to, tr to uh, select it as an elective. Um, we do also have student body government um, and Maria Anjem again is our interim student body president. She uh, and the other student officers meet at homeroom time, and that's when they kind of do their student body work. However, many of them might be in the leadership class as well. But again, the leadership class is open to everybody, and it's um, taught to really teach leadership, leadership skills in general. So you will, again, with all of these classes, you will hear a lot more detail from your teachers. But again, yes, leadership class is a new class and we're excited to see how it goes. Um, if I may interject really quickly, um, the, the student leadership class, basically if we were in school, you'd also be helping out, you know, planning spirit week and the rallies and everything. So you'd kind of be in direct contact with student government. So, you know, I really do recommend you guys take it. It'll be a lot of fun and it really helps you build your connections. Thank you, Dr. Aronson and Maria. And um, we're also encouraging students to get involved in student government. We will have freshman elections some way, somehow, uh, virtually, and um, get involved and help make Balboa an even better place. Next question, when and where can we get Chromebooks again? I forgot, that's okay. Mr. Nepo, do you wanna remind everybody about Chromebooks? Yes. Hey everybody, sorry, there's actually a lot of um, questions coming down on the YouTube stream as well. So everybody who's on the YouTube stream, there's about almost 70 people right now. Thank you for answering your questions. This is a good question. So let me um, roll that question up with a few other things. Um, we are still work while I'm waiting on guidance around the distribution of other instructional materials, which includes potentially books. And so with the tech distribution, um, we are hoping to roll out um, 
potentially book distribution on the same day. Um, our goal is to minimize the amount of exposure for both families and students, as well as the staff who will be um, volunteering to help out. Um, and the tentative date and time is August 25th from 10 to 2 p.m. Um, it will be an alpha order and we will try to accommodate basically the entire school in that time frame. Um, it can be done. There will be a, an opportunity for uh, potentially other people who would like to volunteer, parents, um, if you guys want to get PTSA, um, if you'd like, just hit me up. Um, but we want to make sure we minimize the amount of volunteers as well. So we're trying to figure out a way, and I'm currently working on a strategy right now um, with the Department of Technology to um, make sure that this, is, this works out for everybody. Um, but again, August 25th, 10 to 2 p.m., front of the school, everything's going to be completely outdoors. Um, six feet distancing, social distancing, as well as masks are required. And thank while I'm on it, can I, yeah, thank you. Liz, can I also address a few more questions there? There's plenty of them I want to just address for anybody who's still listening or watching in. Sure. Um, yeah, so another question that's come up, um, for those of you guys who are in the YouTube stream but can't get into the Zoom meeting, um, be sure that you're logging in through an SFUSD email account. Um, if you're a parent, uh, it's best to log in with your child's account. Otherwise, you can definitely log into a Zoom meeting by, via phone. Okay, so that's one. Another question about parent view. Um, who in our school could assist with parent view? Off top, can counselors, can you guys assist with some families who need help with that? Typically, typically that's um, our parent liaisons, uh, parent Ingrid liaisons. and Ella. Perfect. Okay, so Ingrid and Ella, um, for those of you guys who are listening, that question, um, our parent liaisons, Ingrid and Ella, who are currently providing translations right now, can help with parent view. Um, student IDs, again, um, we can help out with that. Uh, there, for those questions, again, of who your counselor is, if you look at the Balboa website, we do have all the counselors by name, and they are alphabetical order. And so you'll see the alphabetical order um, uh, name like A through F, for example, that will allow you to find out who your child's uh, counselor is. Um, let me see. Uh, question is, what is Synergy? Synergy is a platform that we use for our students as well as for parents and for teachers to check out grades, attendance. It's our one-stop shop and our resource for everything student-wide uh, for our um, access online for everything. And that should be wrapping up all the major questions I have so far. Thank you, Mr. Nepo. Um, next question I see is how often will teachers be available if I need extra help with my work or I don't understand it? That is a great question to ask your teachers uh, during the first week of school. Each teacher will set their own schedule and expectations around how they will offer help outside of um, class. And so please ask those questions to all your teachers. We're in a very unique situation right now and everyone wants to support you. So please don't hesitate to ask your teachers questions um, and ask for help if you need it. Everyone wants to see you be successful. So please, please ask. Thanks so much, Mr. Jill, Dr. Aronson, Mr. Nepomuceno, and of course our chief, Mr. Freedom Siam. I'd like to invite you back, uh, Mr. Siam, to the platform to close us out in your own way. Yes, absolutely. Um, thank you, everybody, um, staff, assistant principals, for putting together uh, an amazing uh, orientation as, as best as we can under the current predicament and situations. Um, also, welcome to our new students and our returning students and our alumni members representing uh, today. Um, it's quite exciting in many ways. It's kind of difficult to really um, be enthusiastic while we've been pretty much in shelter in place since March 17th. Um, but I, I do believe that this is setting a new precedent for a different world, a different world that you are going to be the caretakers of. You are our future. You are the one who will be administering my medication. Uh, when possibilities and how you learn uh, to navigate this world we are living in now and the future 
um, that you can imagine for all of us to live in uh, as well. And um, I don't believe that there's any uh, better site for you to be at uh, other than Balboa because of the amazing programs that we have here is setting you up to usher us into the more positive era of the 21st century. Um, again, thank you everybody. Uh, Maria, that'll be it. Please stay abreast of uh, developing information by checking the Balboa website. Mr. Nepomuceno is updating it uh, as quickly as he can to reflect the various different changes uh, that are happening and they happen rapidly. If you listen to Governor Newsom uh, every day on the news, as I do, you know that this, the things change, you know, the situation and conditions change rapidly. Um, and we will try to update you as best as we can uh, through the Balboa website and the students will be updated through the student government, through the student government's social media pages. Thank you again. Uh, this will be posted on, if there's anything that you missed in the orientation, this video will be posted on the Balboa website shortly. Um, Thank you. Students, feel free. I just wanted to say one last thing. Um, I wanna give a really big shout out to the student body officers that did decide to join, even though this was um, a little optional. And so I really want to say um, thank you, Pierce Whitney and Elias Myers for hopping on to this Zoom. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you once again for this opportunity to learn from each other today. And our hope is for you that you remain safe and healthy, stay connected at all times, and stay successful throughout this entire school year and beyond. At this time, I'd like to invite our faculty and staff to unmute and shout out your Balboa Buccaneers spirit as Mr. Nepomuceno, or actually I can do it, cue the music. Balboa. Balboa. Welcome, Buccaneers. Welcome, so everybody. Have everybody. Your beautiful faces. See you later. Bye. Welcome. We're so excited. Welcome. Go, to Buccaneers. Have all of you. Go, Buccaneers. Yes. Go, Bucks. Oh. Go, Bucks. Wait, wait, it's over. It's over. Yes, it is. But I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to meeting who that whoever that is. <laughs> yes. Watermelon sugar. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us and taking time out of your morning. Watermelon sugar. I don't own the rights to this music or this song. <laughs> <laughs> It was wonderful to see the faces that we got to see. Yeah, it was amazing, amazing. Thanks everybody for putting this together and pulling it off. You're amazing, it's a great group. Yeah. And thanks for trusting me to do this, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you all are really brave. <laughs> it's, it's initiation, Dr. Jones. It was, I did it my first year too. <laughs> yeah, I think Free was testing me. <laughs> trial by fire. Great trial by fire. job. Great job. Thanks, yeah. Nepo, for taking care of the technical foundation to make this happen. You all did a wonderful yeah. job. Thank you. Sorry, I'm also, there's a lot of questions on YouTube, but yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I just gave up my email address, so wish me luck. This help love is Ingrid. Thank you so much. You. you all did a great job. Thank you. Awesome. Nice to see you, Whitney. <laughs> You'll get it. Bye. Bye. Take care, Miss Ella. Thanks, Dean Walker. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We, we were gonna meet at noon, but maybe we can meet at eleven forty-five. I'll change the. I'm gonna change the Zoom link. Yes, okay. please. Sooner I'm better. Thank, Thank you. you. See you then. So long, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank Welcome you, to the new school year. Thank I have you. A question. I have a question. Quick question. Yes. Well, sports are canceled until further notice, right? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. All right, I'm um, going to be here. So, classes begin at 9 a.m., right? And that's not going to change, or? 
<laughs> yes, every high school starts at 9 a.m. Okay, good to know. Have a yeah, nice day, gonna, everyone. You Bye. too. You too. Bye -bye. Take care, Bye. buddy. Thanks for joining. All right. Everybody's going to have to go.